Hello everyone, it's a big day. We've got a big show for you. Welcome to this day. It is June 4th. I am Michael Taylor and we've got a great one. Let's get right to it. We are going to be talking and introducing you two to Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Pernazar. He is a cataract surgeon with Envision Eye Centers and he's going to be talking to us about what we do, all the things around cataracts and what the procedures are all about. So we're going to get that great information from him today. Then later in the program, India Club's throwing a big dance party next week. And you're invited, so we're going to get all the information from a couple of their members a little later in the program. Right now, though, we want to talk about something that's going on. If you are interested in running for one of the boards on either 3rd or United, they are looking for candidates for the 2024 elections that are coming up. Okay, They are looking for candidates. You can come get your applications for the annual elections here at the community center. They are available in the general manager's office. The deadlines for these turn these in are going to be late June and early July. So you have time to turn them in, but make sure you pick them up now. Get your candidate statement ready, fill out the forms. You have to hand these back into the office uh, later in the month when the deadline's coming up. So if you're interested in becoming a board member, now's the time to pick up your application for either Third or United. Let's take a look outside at our lovely weather, and it's been pretty okay. You know what? We were trying to get a little more clearing. I don't think we got to 74 degrees yesterday, but we're hoping for that today. We're hoping for the AM clouds to clear out a little bit, giving us that afternoon sunshine, and we're going to head for a warm-up later in the week. That is for sure as kind of a high-pressure system kind of starts to lock in over the Southland for the uh, coming seven or eight days once we start later in the week. So we're looking for warmer temperatures, uh, some sunny days, if especially on Friday. So we're going to get some sunshine, we're going to get some heat, and we're looking for a slow warm-up as we head into the weekend. So that should be nice. Let's take a look at our sunrise and our sunset. I took this picture. That's right, your host right here took this picture. I was heading back from Boston at a graduation out at Brown University. And um, uh, this was just uh, really, I mean, sorry, of Tufts University. Uh, and uh, this was just a beautiful shot I took. I usually don't take pictures out the you know, window of the airplane, but I thought this was really looked amazing. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you guys. Our sunrise this morning was 540, and our sunset tonight is going to be 758. If you'd like to send us a picture for your travels, wherever you might be, local sunrise, sunset shots, flowers, your pets, whatever it might be, go ahead and bring it in, send it to us. You can do that by emailing us, lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. Make sure you include your name, where you took the picture. My picture was somewhere over America. I couldn't tell you where it was. And <laughs> make sure you take it horizontally so it fits on our screen well. All right, let's take a look at a couple of meetings for you, and then when we come back, Envision Eye Centers. Stay with us. For over 25 years, we have worked hard to make Britain Smile the premier dental office in Laguna Woods. We take the extra time to understand our patients' special needs and always perform the highest quality dental work at affordable prices in a relaxing and friendly environment. There is no need to refer our patients to anybody else. We perform everything from cleaning all the way to the implant and sinus surgeries all under one roof. Stop in or call and experience the Britain Smile difference. To adapt to it, we strive to make the everyday tasks easier by providing our customers with the tools they need to be successful. We carefully explain the use and care of all of our equipment. Adapt to it has been in Laguna Woods for over 20 years, and we know that nothing in life stays constant. So we can help you adapt to all the changes in your life. Adapt to it sells and rents items and always delivers with a smile. Come in today to experience what we mean when we say, when you can't change it, adapt to it. The Salvation Army Orange County is proud to be a leader in providing comprehensive care to families, men, women, young adults, seniors, and veterans in Orange County. Our shelters provide food, clothing, counseling, housing navigation, and job training. We also provide care through rent and utility assistance, food pantries, anti-trafficking services, adult rehabilitation, and youth programs. Donate today to help families in need and empower individuals towards self-sufficient life. 
Welcome to Envision Eye Centers, conveniently located next to Laguna Woods. We offer cutting edge technology that meets unsurpassed service. You and your eyes are my priority. We will treat you with the utmost care and compassion. Some might offer local exams, but they'll send you on a trek for surgery. Skip the unnecessary travel. You can be confident that we will deliver the best outcome for your eyes. Schedule your consultation today and see the world clearly. Call us or visit our website. No inconvenience, just expert care. Welcome back to our program. It's been a minute. Envision Eye Centers, Dr. Jonathan Pernazar. Thank you for being back with us. Thank and you. And we're going to be talking today about cataracts. Yes. And, and talk, let's talk in general for folks uh, in, our, in the age group, in this demographic, certainly in this community, everybody knows someone or has had the surgery themselves or is going to have the surgery themselves. Why do cataracts develop in the first place? Good question. You know, cataracts is a part, what I like to say, it's a sign of maturity. <laughs> we all will get it. You know, it comes at different ages. You know, some people, I see patients coming in in their late 40s, early 50s with some really? cataracts, you know. Okay. But the majority of reason why we get cataracts is really because as we age, mm -hmm. you know. And so someone's coming in usually 60s, 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. needing, you know, they're noticing blurred vision, harder to drive at night. Road signs are not as clear, getting a lot of glare from oncoming headlights. Those are all signs of a cataract that's forming. And is there something that we do as we grow to uh, accelerate the cataract, need for a cataract surgery? Or, or is there something people can do to protect and prevent? Is it, is it wearing sunglasses and those kinds of things? Is it the simple stuff that you're told? You know, it's not always. Okay. Not always. Sometimes I think UV protection is important, but it's not like a one-to-one -one ratio. It's mm -hmm. not like if mm -hmm. you don't wear sunglasses. You're, you're, you're bound for it. It's not that you're bound for it either. <laughs> but I think there is some there is some ideas that wearing sunglasses can't protect you from getting cataracts as you get older. But it's not a, it's not 100 percent. Now it's a gradual thing, right? Yes. So some people it's like it's kind of like almost like a, hear, a little bit of hearing loss. Like some people don't notice it and they're just everything's just you no. Know, I don't see as clearly as I used to. That's just a matter of age. But it's really not, right? It's a it's a slow deterioration of of the lens inside. Absolutely. There? So as the lens hardens mm -hmm. as the lens kind of blocks more light it is very gradual some cataracts do grow very quickly over maybe like six months oh, okay that's one certain diabetics can get very quick growing cataracts you know oh wow so diabetes is definitely a risk factor for cataracts but the majority of patients who get the slow grow the slow growing cataracts those are ones where they don't notice it mm -hmm. but then the one thing i hear the most is you're driving at night Oh, I can't drive at night anymore. Oh, the glare from the okay. oncoming headlights. And they all complain about the new, you know, beams of the cars and stuff like Which that. Which are truly, it's I true. mean, they're glary. Because yeah. I remember that, that you know, past 15, 10 years, it's like, wow, the, some of these headlights are really going at me. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's very true. So what does a surgery actually correct? What does it help with? Okay. Great question. So basically, your lens, which is right behind your pupil, mm -hmm. which is your natural lens, it's clear when we're born, when, the, when when that grows and gets cloudy, your natural lens, we call that a cataract. So a cataract mm -hmm. is a clouding of your natural lens. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're doing is we make very small incisions, about 2.2 millimeters. We go in, we use lasers to create the incisions. Mm -hmm. We then go in, we vacuum out the cataract, and then we put a new custom lens in, and we have different lenses where we can get you both eyes for distance, both eyes for up close to get you the most glasses free. Okay. We have other lenses that do just distance. You know, if someone was used to monovision, we can where they wore contacts before cataract surgery, we can do one eye for distance, one eye for up close. So we have a whole range of options for patients to get them glasses free if they want, or if they still want to wear glasses, we can do that as well too. Is there a lens that helps you find stuff in the junk drawer that you can never find? <laughs> Wait, say <laughs> In the junk drawer that you can never find? <laughs> is, is there any lens for that or the ones where your yes. wife tells you to go find that? And <laughs> yes. So we have these special lenses where you don't need the reading glasses anymore. Okay. Yeah. We have these great lenses where you get both eyes for distance, driving, watching TV, no glasses needed. We have, That's amazing. And th those same lenses can make it so you don't, you need um, glasses for your cell phone. So you can see your cell phone, you can see your iPad, you can see okay. your computer, get you that freedom from glasses, 
and you don't need any glasses after surgery. Now, the certain levels of uh, lenses, the quality and that kind of thing, are there certain levels where the insurance will cover and certain ones where, hey, you're going to come, some of this is going to come out of pocket? Correct. Again, great question. Um, the lenses that do the most, meaning they get you the most glasses free, mm -hmm. they have the highest out of pocket for the patient above and beyond the insurance. Okay. okay. So I kind of tier it like this. If a patient wants everything, mm -hmm. you know, distance and up close without glasses, that's the most out of pocket mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they would pay above and beyond their, uh, the, um, the, coverage. For, the coverage. Option two, I say, is the option where we want to do just both eyes distance. Mm -hmm. You know, if they have some astigmatism, if we want to treat that. To treat astigmatism where we set both eyes distance, that's, I call that option two, and that's an extra out of pocket cost as well, but it's less than the first one. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay. still gonna need my readers for Still stuff. need readers, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then the third option I call that is just the basic or standard lens. Great lens, you get great vision with that, mm -hmm. but we usually with the standard lens, you're gonna still need glasses afterwards for both distance and up close, but you'll see much better mm -hmm. with those new glasses after cataract surgery. When a cataract very first starts, or when someone starts to notice it, is that the time for surgery, or is there a time where you know we really need to get it to this point? Is there any reason to wait? Um, it, it really depends. You know, there are certain criteria that we look at. You know, mm -hmm. how thick the lens is. Mm -hmm. You know, how dense is the cataract? Number one, mm -hmm. but also what's the patient complaint? Mm -hmm. If you have a cataract and it's not bothering you, mm -hmm. just because you have a cataract doesn't mean we have to take it out. Okay. You know? But if you have a small cataract and it's laid right in the center and it's giving you a lot of glare at night, that could be an indication to do the surgery as well too. Okay, okay. Now what should people expect when they go in? Do they do both eyes at the same time? Is it one and one or do we wait a little bit? Usually I do it, again, most patients have similar cataracts in both eyes. Mm -hmm. So we'll do one eye one week, one eye the next week. Mm -hmm. And it's outpatient surgery. We have a surgery center right here in Laguna Hills um, where we do one eye one week, one eye the next, and you do get a little bit of a twilight anesthesia, but you're kind of awake. You don't have any pain. Mm -hmm. There's no shots needed around your eyes. We just use numbing eye drops. Mm -hmm. uh, and the best part is everybody loves the light show. You get a really good <laughs> light show. Everybody else, oh, I'm back in the 60s. This is good. <laughs> good times. Right. Um, why, is there, uh, why do you usually have a separation between the eyes? Is there a medical reason for that? I think just to be safe. Okay. You know, especially if you're putting in these special lenses that do mm -hmm. both eyes distance, both eyes up close, you want to make sure they're happy with the first eye before you do the second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what, but also just safety. You want to make sure, you know, the, the risk of infection is extremely low mm -hmm. with cataract surgery, but, you know, we want to make sure the first eye is good before okay. you do the second. Okay. Now, after the surgery, what's the recovery? Am I wearing special glasses for a little while? Am I kind of taking it easy for a few days? What's the healing process like? I think really most of the special lenses we use, you just don't, you, as long as you use your eye drops, mm -hmm. the antibiotic steroid and the anti-inflammatory eye drops as directed, there's, other than that, you don't have to really wear anything special. In the first couple of days, maybe the first week after each eye, you're gonna have some light sensitivity, so wearing sunglasses will be needed mm -hmm. when you're outside in the sun. But <laughs> other than that, there's really not much to do. Okay. Yeah. Now, are there, un there aren't any other options in terms of when someone has a cataract, there's nothing else, there's no alternative to cataract surgery really, is there to improve? So I mean, this is either do it or live with the cataract, right? Correct, exactly. Yeah. There is no, I, you know, I wish there was like a magic drug or an eye drop <laughs> that can melt the cataract away so mm -hmm. you wouldn't need surgery, that would be amazing. And people are, I think, trying to work on that, but there's nothing that I have seen that's even close to even coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's either do the cataract or or wait to do the cataract. <laughs> yeah, or, or just push, you keep picking down exactly. the road. Exactly. Now, yeah. why, why uh, some folks, is it just a matter of nervousness or they're not sure if they're, they're ready for it? Is to kick it down, down the road for fo some folks? I think, you know, surgery is, it, it's a nervous thing and mm -hmm. it's your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, God, how's he going to operate my eyes? I'm going to keep my eyes open. <laughs> you know, and again, what I tell them is listen, we have special eyelid holders that mm -hmm. keep your eyes open so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that. You get a nice, IV little medicine to make you relax, but we don't have to put you to sleep so it's safe. Okay. And once I kind of explained to them that it only takes seven to 10 minutes mm -hmm. each surgery, so it's not long. It's seven to 10 minutes? That's it. That's it. Really? That's, how long, that's as long as it takes, yeah. I thought it was quite the longer procedure that yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when I tell them that, oh, okay, that's good. 
okay, that's a little bit of a relief, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it is that, I guess there's that fear, I mean, of, of like, oh, what if something, you know, that kind of thing. But it's just, right. like you say, it's just, it's really kind of a, a routine yeah. process to, to this point of, of the advances in the, in the lasers and all of the things you're using, right? I think the technology has come a really long way. You know, in 2011, we were one of the first places to use the laser for cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. So we have that. The technology of the lenses keeps on getting better and better. Mm -hmm. uh, these special lenses that do both eyes distance, both, um, both eyes up close, we call them multifocal mm -hmm. or lifestyle lenses. Mm -hmm. Those started in 2005, and now we're obviously almost 20 years later, they're much better. Wow. You know, so the glare and halo risk is much less with these special lenses. Mm -hmm. The satisfaction is much higher. You know, I would say probably you know, 90, 95% of patients who get the special lenses would say that, hey, I'm really happy with it. I would tell my friend to do the same thing. Well, let's get folks happy about doing this. All right, Dr. Jonathan Pernazar from Envision Eye Centers. Thank you very much. The phone number is up on the screen for folks who want to know more and get in contact with you as well as the website. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, when we come back, we'll be talking to folks from the India Club about their big dance party coming up. Stay with us. Theatre Guild presents In Juliet's Garden. Consider this. Five women challenge their creator, William Shakespeare. Why? Find out on June 18th at Clubhouse 2 in this clever and interactive play with lunch. Cost $28. Register at theaterguildlw.com. Your smile is key to your overall health. Put it into good hands with Loberg Dental. We are restorative dentistry experts specializing in fillings, crowns, dental implants, root canals, and more. Come experience our exceptional care for yourself with a special offer for new patients. Your first exam and set of x-rays is free without insurance. Let us give you something to smile about. Visit DrLoberg.com today to make an appointment and get your free exam and x-rays. Village Television presents Friday Films, only on Village Television. Fridays at 2 and 6 p.m. Foreign films, dramas, and comedies. Award-winning films, romance and mystery. Independent films. Every Friday, only on Village Television. At Freedom Village Assisted Living, we provide loving care and support when your loved one needs it most. We believe in laughing more and caring more. Dining will be an experience, not just a meal. We offer opportunities to create new memories. Your family will feel like they are part of our family as we work toward creating an extraordinary difference in lives worth living. To schedule a tour and complimentary lunch, and for more information, please call us at 949-340-8108 or visit our website, freedomvillage.org. Do you suffer from low back pain? Hogue Orthopedic Institute is the number one provider of orthopedic and spine care in Orange County. Our Back to You program is a unique, non-operative, evidence-based approach to treating low back pain. Our spine strengthening program combines physical therapy with education on pain and nutrition. Let Hogue Orthopedic Institute's Back to You program get you back to doing what you love. For more information, visit hoiexperts.com slash spine or call 855-999-4641 to find a doctor. Club has a great dance party coming up next week, and here to join us talk about a little bit more is Narish uh, Chara and Geetha Harinath. Am I close? Yes. <laughs> good. I, I do my best sometimes. Um, so, Narish, tell me a little bit about the dance party in general and what's going to be going on and why you guys put it together. Okay. Well, this month of June every year feels like a summer is here, and a dance party with live music and dinner uh, should be arranged so that India Club 
has planned for June 12th in Clubhouse 7 from 5.30 to 9 p.m. We also plan to celebrate the Father's Day, mm -hmm. which is very close to June 16th this year, and we, want to, we don't want to miss celebrating and serenade all the fathers present and past who made possible for us to get together. We recently have started My Story, a program, for our indiv a program by individuals who talk about the journey in life to this sweet land. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we may be having one or two individuals to open up the meeting. That sounds terrific. And, and, and Geetha, what's it like to put together one of these events? Is it, is it a big challenge in terms of booking the, the, the folks who are going to perform and the arrangements and all that kind of thing? It is. For looking from outside, it, it looks so easy, but it, sometimes it becomes a full-time mm -hmm. job to put everything together. Mm -hmm. But it's been done for year after year, so it's not a big challenge. There are volunteers to help and mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. So it it's, goes really good. Mm -hmm. This time, actually, we are going to have the dance party. And uh, uh, for the food part of it, you know, our, uh, our director for food has uh, chosen uh, some Punjabi food. Mm -hmm. That's a very mild, spicy food. And uh, uh, she has chosen some of the dishes that's supposed to be very good. So we are looking forward to enjoying that. Okay. So. Now, is the dan are the dancing going to be more traditional dances, or is it going to be a little bit more modern, or a mix of everything? It'll be it'll be a Bollywood type. Dance. Oh, okay. If you don't, if you can't dance, you still dance. You still so dance. Like, you still you jump look around. at the other person. So and Bollywood's always a fun fun right, time. Right. Right. <laughs> and so. Um, for people who um, are, are to come to this that don't know much about the indie club or the culture, what is there an opportunity to kind of learn a little bit about the culture while we're there too? Yes. Um, this time what we're having is uh, a Priya Mani. Uh, she's a professional singer, songwriter, composer, and sound engineer who is passionate about music, uh, music around the world. Mm -hmm. um, she sings in multiple styles and languages and is best known for her versatility as a singer. Priya has a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance from Berkeley College of Music in Boston. While Boston, she performed with a famous Ustad Zakir Hussain, the Grammy-nominated Berkeley Indian Assembly, and Grammy-winning composer Arnie Roth of the Boston Symphony Hall. She also worked as recently the music director for theater productions. More recently, Priya performed with Disney's Snowtacular cast as El Capitan Theatre in Hollywood. Priya is primarily a performer and music artist with original music released to, on all streaming platforms. So she aims to express stories and range of emotional experiences through her music. Drawing influences from music or different generations, Priya creates an emotional and sonically unique experience for everybody. She has selected 23 songs in five different languages including English, Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi, Gujarati, and for the audience to listen and dance. Oh, that's so terrific. there's a lot of cultural mix-up for the mm -hmm. music with the dancing. Absolutely. And Deepa, how important is dance and, and food and, and music and all of these things to the Indian culture? It is very important because from younger age, we are, you know, we, we, most of the people learn dancing. Even the ones that don't dance, they look at the movies and then mm -hmm. come home and mm -hmm. then you know, try to dance like that. You know, it's a good exercise. It's not, you know, you don't have to go to the uh, gym all the time to do it. You can do it at home with right. your own music. And, and people do follow, you know, uh, very traditionally mm -hmm. <clears throat> dancing, you know. So it's uh, it's very important. And uh, here, for, for this particular evening, before she could, we could start the music and all, you know, we, I just like to say that uh, we have, uh, the, I, told, I told you the food part mm -hmm. of it. Sure. So in, when, as soon as they come 5.30 in the evening, you know, we just give them some Indian tea, chai, and uh, some snacks. So they eat and go around and then mingle with people, socialize with people mm -hmm. that they haven't seen in a month or some two months. Though we are all Indians live here, we don't get to see each other. So that gives the time for us to, you know, chit chat and get to know each other and the new people who are come is being introduced and everything. Yeah. Then after that, you know, after they this is over, then the 
music starts. Six mm -hmm. o'clock music starts. Then we get the real party begins. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll sing for you know one whole hour. There are some people who cannot resist dancing, so they will just go go to the floor and dance. <laughs> And then after one hour, we have our dinner. So this time, we even have added a glass of wine to our dinner. Oh, there so you go. So people will enjoy everything. And do you think it's important generationally to kind of keep these traditions going and the younger generation learn from the older generation as they kind of keep these dances and the cultural experience together? Yeah, well, that brings the community together and brings the, not the elderly people that we are over 55, <laughs> but younger generations have the chance also to participate in this thing. Um, uh, some people bring their younger staff, uh, uh, younger children over to the mm -hmm. party, and the party is both Indian uh, girl, uh, the ladies and the gentlemen dancing together in harmony. It's like a, you know, very traditional dancing. All right, well, Indie Club Dance Party, it's going to be coming up on June 12th, folks, from 5.30 to 9 p.m. over at Clubhouse 7. And you can get in there if you're a member of the Indie Club already. It's $27. Non-members is going to be $37. And you can see the phone numbers and the emails on your screen to make sure you go ahead and make that reservation and get in there. Thank you both very much for joining us. Thank you very Thank you. much. Good luck at the party. Me. Hope you guys have a great time. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome you. to the party. You are welcome uh, to the party. I might come. I like chai tea and I like dancing. <laughs> Thank you very much. We will make you dance too. Uh, <laughs> there's no doubt. I'll get out there. <laughs> You're watching this day. We'll be right back. There are many treasures within the walls of Laguna Woods Village. The foundation of Laguna Woods Village is one of them. Nowhere in the nation has a community embraced a commitment to assist its own residents with temporary emergency support. Since 1997, the foundation makes that support available through donations by individuals, clubs, organizations, and bequests. Help the foundation to help the real treasures within the village, our friends and neighbors. Pacific Cremation Services offers you the ultimate freedom to become one with the salty breezes and brilliant sunset reflections. A scattering at sea is a unique, beautiful way to honor the life of anyone who chooses to be cremated. We help you plan the details and understand what to expect. Choose from our three simple plans and let us help you start the process of healing and life celebration. Contact us at PacificCremationServices.com to create a personalized service at sea today. All right, before we go, I want to tell you about a special thing going on today over at the PC Club. They are proud to present the John Huber Recognition and Dedication. It's an open house. It's going on today from 3 to 6 p.m. on the third floor of the community center. Get out there. Enjoy the presentation. There are going to be tours of the newly renovated space, and this should be a great time for everybody. So go out there and have some fun. It is an open house. Quick check on our weather. We've got clouds this morning. We're hoping for the clear out. And that's really the hope for the whole week. Clear out in the afternoon for sunshine, warmer temperatures later in the week. That's going to do it for this edition of This Day Tomorrow on the program, Caring Senior Services and the Theater Guild. For all of us here at Village Television, we hope you make this day a great one.